everyone, my name is Oishiki. At first I would like to say that please kindly subscribe my channel. So today I am going to read chapter 8 of Alice in Wonderland. And yes, I would also like to inform that the ones who want to watch Alice in Wonderland part 7, they can get the video link from the description box. So now let's begin with our story. The Queen's Conquest Ground Alice noticed a tree trunk in front of her with a door in it. She opened it and she found herself back in the hall with the glass table and the golden key. This time I know what to do, she said. She nibbled at the mushroom until she was small enough to go through the little door into the lovely garden with its flower beds and fountains. Alice was surprised to see three gardeners busily painting a white rose tree red and even more surprised when she saw they were playing cards. They were flat and oblong with hands and feet at the corners. Their names were two, five and seven. You see, miss, this here rose tree ought to have been red. Do was explaining. If the queen sees it, we shall all have our heads chopped off. Hush, whispered five. Here she comes. All three fell flat on their faces. There was sound of many footsteps. And Alice looked round eager to see the queen. First came ten soldiers carrying clubs. Then came ten courtiers with diamonds. Then came the ten royal children hand in hand with herds on the tunics. Next came the guest, including the Duchess and the White Rabbit. And then came the knave of herds, carrying a crown on a red velvet cushion. Next of all in the grand procession came the king and the queen of herds themselves. Alice courtesied and told the queen her name. I wouldn't be afraid of them, she thought. They are only a pack of cards. The queen looked at the gardeners, lying flat on the ground. Turn them over, she said to the knave. The gardeners jumped up and started bowing to everyone. Off with their heads, cried the queen. On the procession moved off. You shallen be behaved, said Alice, popping the gardeners into a large flower pot before the soldiers could catch them. Then she caught up with the procession. Go to your places, shouted the queen in a voice like thunder. It was the strangest game of conquest Alice had ever seen. The ball was curled up hedgehogs and the mallets were flamingos. The soldiers had to double up and stand on the hands to make the arches. By the time Alice 
had a flamingo in position to tap the ball. The hedgehog had uncurled and crawled away. The players didn't wait their turns and quarreled over the hedgehogs. The queen stamped about, shouting, Off with his head! Or, off with her head! Every few minutes, soon the game was over. All the players except the king, the queen and Alice had been sentenced to be beheaded. Alice was relieved to hear the king whispered to them, You are all pardoned. Alice was talking to the duchess when a trumpet sounded in a distance. The trial beginning. Come on, said the Duchess, taking Alice by the hand. So our story ends here. In my next video, I am going to read chapter 9. That is, Who Stole the Tarts? If you liked my today's video, then please like and comment my video. And also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories and to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.